Have you ever heard of Minamata disease that affected pregnant women and their newborn babies? This is a true and devastating case of environmental mercury poisoning. The disease was named after a town in Japan, Minamata, and this happened in the 1950s. A factory dumped mercury into the water and it got into the fish that people relied on and ate every day. Pregnant women who ate that fish didn't always get very sick, but their babies were born with serious brain damage, movement problems, and other lifelong disabilities. That's how scientists discovered that mercury can cross the placenta and harm a baby's developing brain. Mercury builds up in fish through the process called bioaccumulation. Tiny sea creatures absorb the mercury and smaller fish eat those items and then the bigger fish eat those smaller fish. The higher up the fish is in the food chain, the more mercury they have. So the statement of pregnant women are not allowed to have sushi is not entirely true. It's more so avoiding raw fish and specifically larger fish, like swordfish or shark or any other fish that are high up in the food chain to help protect your baby's growing brain. The case of Minamata disease didn't just affect humans, it also affected the animals in the area. I did a big group project about this case in nursing school and my classmate and friend who had to go in front of the class and educate us about bioaccumulation ended it with, so ladies, bigger is not always better the class erupted and i was just like jaw drop because this is a very serious case anyways let me know if you guys want to know more feel free to look up the details or i can make more videos about it if you guys have questions